Hi guys, Shane here from the Reddick Public Library. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy. So today I had done a review on the complete Japanese Teach Yourself language learning course. And the Teach Yourself language learning courses in general I think are great. They have a lot of useful information and they, it's easy to follow. They have an app online that you can download on iOS or Android. And um, it just shows you how to pronunciate stuff like that and gives you a bunch of useful tips. But for today, I'm gonna try to um, give you guys a few useful tips, I think, that I, I wish I would have known when I started learning a new language to make it a little bit easier. So the first one being, definitely get a notebook and just write down everything. It helps a lot with, um, I think when you're writing it down, it helps you remember even more than just listening to it. And you can also go back, you can write any annotations you want in it and stuff like that. It's a really good tool to have, simple one too. Next, I would definitely get a whatever language you're learning to English dictionary. They're really nice to have when you're trying to structure sentences and you're not quite sure what word to use. They are a really essential tool. And my third and final one being, this isn't necessary I don't think, but this is just a picture dictionary. It has a bunch of different chapters in here on um, just different events like daily activities and it shows you, it, it teaches you how to um, use those in sentences and stuff like that and pronunciate and it is uh, it has been really useful for me in learning how to learn a new language. So with that being said, um, I hope everyone is staying healthy. And if you've ever thought about pursuing a new language, I would definitely look into the Teach Yourself um, complete series. They are definitely a really good book, and I've had a lot of fun learning a new language.